Hey guys, welcome back to the Fit Channel where I try to explain things in the most basic way possible so you can incorporate them into your everyday life. Now, a couple videos ago, I made a video on carb sources that you should avoid while dieting. I believe that it's only fair that I give you 10 carb sources to consider when you are dieting. 10 carb sources that you should be consuming when you are dieting. So, roll. Hey guys, welcome back. First off, I want to say that yes, I am a huge advocate of if it fits your macros style of dieting, but all carbs aren't just carbs. Um, yes, calories in, calories out are most important, but there are certain carbohydrates that you should be consuming when dieting for their micronutrient properties. You still have to get in enough vitamins and fiber to keep your body going, to keep your energy sustained. So I'm going to give you 10 sources of carbs that you should be, con that you should be consuming when you are dieting. The first one is barley. Now, when I say barley, um, a lot of people would think beer, and that is true. Barley is used to make alcoholic beverages, absolutely. But barley is actually a cereal grain. So it's used to make cereal, um, high nutrient fiber enriched cereal. So consider barley as one of the carb sources that you should be going after when you are dieting. The second one is maple water. Now you may have never heard of maple water and it's exactly the way it sounds. It's maple water. Um, it comes from the maple tree. Um, it's It goes through a process in the spring that infuses the nutrients into the maple that has been stored in the tree all year long. So if you can find maple water, that is a great source of carbohydrates to consume when you are dieting because it's high in nutrients. The third one is popcorn. Not only is it a great snack, and as far as weight to calorie ratios, you can get quite a bit of popcorn for very little macros. If you don't pop it in canola oil, um, if you air pop it or find some other way to prepare it, not only is it a great snack, it's also high in fiber. So consider popcorn as a good snack and a good carb source to consume when you're dieting. The fourth one is quinoa. Quinoa is another great source of carbohydrates because it's high in fiber, vitamin B, and protein. So the micronutrient profile in quinoa is wonderful, so consider quinoa as a good carbohydrate source. Number five is roasted chickpeas. Now, I can't really elaborate on roasted chickpeas too much. I've never had them, but um, I know vegetarians and vegans love them, so I'm assuming that they're pretty good, so consider chickpeas as another source of great carbohydrates when you're dieting. Number six, whole grain rye crisp wheat bread. And the reason I say this is because it's better than white bread and it's high in rye and fiber. 
Once again, it's nutrient packed. You always want to go for carbs that are high in nutrients and try to avoid anything white. So consider rye crisp bread as a great carbohydrate source. Number seven, sweet potatoes. Yes, sweet potatoes are wonderful. I eat them year around. They're full of fiber and micronutrients and they're better for you than white potatoes because they have more micronutrients. They have a better nutrient profile. Um, always go for sweet potatoes if they're available. So sweet potatoes, another great carb source. Number eight, whole grain breakfast cereal. If you're going to eat Cereal, try to find one that has a lot of whole grains. My favorite cereal to eat when I'm on a diet um, is Kashi. Kashi makes a great fiber enriched whole grain cereal. Um, there's one that they have that's really high in protein. It's the Kashi go lean i'm gonna be honest with you it doesn't taste the best but with a little finagling you can make it work and it will get you through your cereal craving so kashi is is wonderful but whole grain breakfast cereal is another great source of high quality Carbs. Number nine, 2% or plain Greek yogurt. Now I swear by this stuff. I always buy the Faye brand because that's the one that I found to be the highest in protein and the lowest in carbs. I usually get the Faye zero. The 2% is pretty good. The difference is, is the 2% has a little bit a fat in it the zero percent does not if you mix that with protein powder you have yourself a treat that is out of this world so consider two percent or zero percent plain greek yogurt as a great carb source and last but not least and i eat this rather i'm dieting or not is oatmeal i absolutely love oat meal um i recommend the steel cut or the old-fashioned i'm not a huge fan of the quick oats but they're pretty good too i like to mix in a little peanut butter and some protein powder and oh absolutely love oatmeal so oatmeal is another great source it's full of fiber and nutrients and micronutrients so consider oatmeal as another great carb source and that's going to be the video for today guys 10 carb sources that you should be going after when you are dieting um, it can be very hard to get the proper fiber and nutrients that your body needs when you're in a calorie deficit but somehow you still have to get that done and the way to do it is to choose the right carbohydrate sources choosing the right foods to put in your body and reaching a calorie deficit at the exact same time so once again you can follow me on instagram at Harley Davidson or nothing. You can follow me on Twitter at FitLifeOver40. Um, I, it'd be great if you check out my podcast. That's available on Apple and Spotify. And the name of that, that podcast is Fit Life Over 40 um, Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And until next time, I'll see you at the next video.